In this video, we're going to go through the present value of an annuity formula. And this is the formula that we use if we are talking about borrowing money or taking a loan. So as we look at this formula, we see some similarities to the future value formula that we use for investments. Um, we have our payment amount, periodic payments, we have our uh, rate per period, and we have our number of periods. One important thing to take note of is that you need to put a negative sign on the power when you're using this formula. It's easy to miss that and get the wrong answer, so make sure that you're paying attention to that. So just like with the future value formula, we have two versions. We have this version where we plug in the payment amount and that will give us the total amount of the loan. We also have another version where we plug in the total amount of the loan and we solve for the payment amount. So depending on what the question is asking for, we can use either of those two formulas. So uh, question one says, assume that you buy a TV for $800 and agree to pay for it in 18 months. Uh, equal monthly payments at 1.5% interest per month. So this for, um, problem is a little bit different from the other problems that we've done because we have a monthly interest rate. Um, so this is not 1.5% annual interest compounded monthly, this is 1.5% interest per month. We don't need to divide this by 12 because it's already been divided by 12. We're talking about months instead of years as our time frame in this problem. So when we uh, plug in here, um, we're looking for the payment amount. We are plugging in $800 for the amount of the loan. And our I is going to just be our interest rate because we're not dividing by anything for compounding or I guess you could say dividing by one. So 0 0.015 and then in our denominator, we have 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.015. And then 18 monthly payments. Um, so 18 months, that means I'm going to have negative 18 for my power. So plug this into my calculator here. We have 800. I'm going to use my A over B button. And then my power here is negative 18. So $51.04 is going to be my monthly payment. So I'll write that down. And then part B says how much will you pay altogether? I don't need to use an annuity formula for this. I just need to use the fact that I'm making payments of $51.04 and there are 18 of those payments. So all I need to do here is multiply 51.04 times 18, do that on my calculator, and I will get $918.72. So my loan amount was $800. I'm paying $918.72. The difference between those is the interest that I'm paying. So everything that is not part of the original loan amount is interest. So if I subtract $918.72 minus $800, I get $118.72 that I'm paying in interest. So important to think about if you're thinking about doing something like taking a loan to buy a TV, is it worth paying an extra $118 in interest or would it be better to save um, money and just pay for it in cash or save your money until you have enough to buy the TV outright? Question two. Some friends tell you that they paid $25,000 down on a new house and they are to pay $525 per month for 30 years on their mortgage. Interest is 7.8% compounded monthly. What was the selling price of the house? So for this problem, we're going to use our first formula here. We want to find the loan amount. We know the payment amount. So I'm going to plug into that. Um, so my payment amount 
is 525. And then I have uh, one minus, one plus. My interest rate is 7.8% compounded monthly. So my I is 0 0.078 divided by 12. And then in my exponent, make sure I get that minus sign, minus 12 um, times 30. So I have 360 total uh, payments. Um, so that's going to be my N value. And then down here, I have I again, 0 0.078 over 12. So bringing up my calculator. I'm going to use um, parentheses here. Again, I, c I can figure out what this is mentally, but um, if I don't know what it is, I need to use parentheses around that multiplication. Okay, so we get a value here of $72,929.78. So that's the amount of the mortgage or the loan that I'm taking out on the house. Now that's not the selling price because I also have my down payment. So when I'm, um, let me write this down here first, 72,929.78. So for my selling price, I paid $25,000 down and I have a $72,000 mortgage. I need to add those two together to get the selling price. Um, so the selling price, is equal to the loan amount plus the down payment. And this 72,000 is the loan amount. So I'm adding $72,929.78 plus $25,000 And when I do that, I get $97,929.78. So that's the selling price of the house. Um, for part B, how much will they pay in monthly payments over 30 years? I don't need to use an annuity formula for this again. I'm just using the monthly payment amount. So I know it's $525 per month times 12 months in a year, times 30 years. Multiply those together for 36, uh, 360 payments of 525. Uh, when I multiply that out, I get 189,000. So that's how much I'm paying in payments over the course of 30 years. Now, to figure out how much interest I pay, I take this amount and I subtract the loan amount not the selling price of the house because the down payment is not included. This is just the monthly payment amount. To get the total amount that I'm paying for the house, I would add this amount to the $25,000. But I'm subtracting just my loan amount here. So I can see that it's going to be over $100,000 that I'm paying in interest. So I'm subtracting $72,000. $929.78 from $189,000 and I would get $116,070.22. So I'm paying more in interest than I'm actually paying for the house. Um, and that's partly because I, this is a pretty high interest rate. Um, interest rates are going up but they're not quite this high now and also because I'm paying over 30 years. So if I were to get a 15-year mortgage, I would find that I would have a higher monthly payment, but I would not be paying as much in interest uh, because the loan is shorter.